Hey guys, what's up? Scooter here with Macintosh Tips, and today I want to talk about a great plugin that I found for Safari that I'm sure you're going to love. But before we get to the plugin, I want to talk about how to download YouTube videos. That's kind of the big thing that YouTube ever started. How do I download them? And if you're using, um, it's, I guess this works if you're using uh, Safari, um, and then there's a Mac application I want to show you as well. So let's go ahead and start on how to download YouTube videos. First, how do you download them in HD? And then we'll talk about how to download them just the audio and just high quality. So first, let's go over here to uh, Safari. As you see, I have the Toy Story 3. It's in HD, and notice that the video is loaded all the way. That's what you're going to have to need um, for this to work. So once you have the video loaded all the way in HD quality, you can pause it or you can keep watching it, whatever you want to do. You're going to come over here to Window in the menu bar. You're going to go to Activity. Once you go to Activity, you're going to find a bunch of, I list a bunch of stuff here. You got the, all these files. You're going to scroll all the way down until you find the one that has megabytes. All right, It's going to be out of megabytes here. And when if it's loading, it's going to say like 2 megabytes out of 41.3. So as you notice, it's already loaded up and it's in megabytes. Once you do that, you're going to double click on it. And obviously, it's going to download in a MP4 format. And it's going to take however long it's going to take. Now, if it's not in H, uh, HD and you try to download it, it's not going to be in an MP4 format. So as you see, I have it down here on my desktop. All right. So if I open that up, boom, that is HD quality right there, and ready to be played. I mean, if I just scroll, scrub through it, that's HD quality right from YouTube. So that's just a quick, handy way. Uh, it takes depends on how long the video is. Really uh, depends on how long it's going to take. Now let's talk about how to get the other one. So uh, another way to download YouTube videos is an application called GitTube. All right. Uh, so it's a free application. You can donate or you can't donate. Uh, so basically, you're on YouTube here. You can search any video you want. So you can search Shaytards, for example. I search Shaytards, and boom. All right. So I can even go on his channel. I can do all that kind of stuff. And let's say I want to click on one of his videos. All right. And I'll pause it. But as you see, here's a video. Now I don't have to wait for the video. Oh, okay. I don't have to wait for the video to finish loading to download it. All I have to do is just hit download, and it'll start. But there are a couple options you have here. If you go to the little light switch in the bottom left, you'll find that you can figure out where to save it, so I'm going to have it saved to my desktop. I can save it as an MP4 or an MP3, and there's two other options here. So let's say you want to find a song and you don't want to buy it off iTunes right then or Amazon, boom, just click MP3 and it will only download the audio. Uh, so make And also with this application, make sure that it checks automatically for software updates, uh, because if it doesn't do that, you will probably get behind on the software updates and the application will stop working. So that's GitTube, and that's just a little plug-in. Uh, not plugin, but a little hint in Safari on how to download YouTube videos. Now let's go ahead and get with a plugin here. The plugin is called uh, Glims, or however you pronounce it, Glims. It's a free plugin. You just download it, restart Safari, and you've got it. And basically, what it does, it adds a lot of enhancements to Safari um, that you can choose. Number one, the main thing is you can add different search browsers and engines uh, now to your search bar. You can't just have Google. You can have CNET, Dictionary, eBay, ESPN, and all of these come. Um, customary on or you know preset when you download the applications. So for example, I have iTunes Artists, Songs, Wikipedia, MTV, Mac Update, all of this, and pl tons of more. So how do you access um, this? Like the preferences to customize it. Well, basically, you go to Preferences in Safari, uh, and then basically you go to Glims on the end. And basically, there's General. Okay, that's enable search engines and all that good stuff. And there's a cool one here called Add Thumbnails to Following Search Engines. Uh, Google and Yahoo. So let's just talk about that for a second. So if I go back to Safari here and I'm on Google, the Google search engine, click it, and let's say I search something like Apple. Okay, number one, I'm going to have a little different interface uh, as you see on results and suggestions and things like that, but let's click on Apple.com, alright, and let's hit enter. And now as you see, as I'm going through Safari and Google, there are actually thumbnails here on the side to kind of, so I can kind of look at and see which one I want to uh, want to pick. Because sometimes you don't know which one it is, so you just click tons of links. But if you have a thumbnail there, you can have that. And again, that's customary. You can have that on or off. It doesn't matter. And that works for Google and Yahoo. Uh, another cool thing I want to talk about are uh, new tabs. Because sometimes when you guys um, click other links on other videos, like YouTube videos, for example. So if you go to a YouTube video here, uh, one of our Macintosh Tips videos, you'll see that we have a link in the sidebar. And uh, sometimes when you click that link, it opens up in a whole new window, and you don't want that to happen. Uh, but with this app, with this plugin here, it'll open up in a new tab. So for example, I just click the click the link, and now that's a whole new tab that just came up instead of it being in a whole new window. 
Also, one of the cool things about this plugin that happens, instead of just having a little X here on the tab, it does show the favicon right there in the in the top uh, left of the tab. Just little enhancements like that. Uh, down here in the purposes, you can add search um, search engines and websites and things like that. And like I said, all of these came customary when I downloaded the plugin. I didn't add any of these. These all came in there uh, on its own, so that's really good. Search suggestions, you can have them display links or uh, just word suggestions. Uh, there's some miscellaneous things in here. Uh, there's just miscellaneous. I mean, I don't want to bore you with most of this, but those are the main things I wanted to point out about this uh, plugin. So I'm going to wrap it up here, but um, all the links to download GitTube is off in the sidebar on one of those sides. And to download Glimms, uh, this plugin for Safari, which I think will be helpful because number one, you get the different search engines, which you don't really get in Safari. Uh, which is something I didn't like, but now I like it because you can get search, different search engines. And two, just kind of the enhancements that it provides. Uh, this is Scooter Macintosh Tips. Comment down below, tell me what you thought about this video. And don't forget, guys, 12 giveaways of Christmas is still going on right now. Click my face right now so you can figure out how to win tons of products such as iPod shuffles, iPod cases, Richard Solo products, power mats, and even an iPod touch. Peace.